morning students today we are here to know about the foundation of education me professor saraswati ghosh department of education is here to focus on the topic foundation of education regarding foundation of education we should know about education first education is what it is a planned and guided process to bring the learners behavioral change behavioral age it is a big term in this behavioral change we will have to look to the different areas in respect to knowledge in respect to attitude and in respect to practice according to aristotle education is creation of sound mind in a sound body first we will have create our body healthy enough balanced full personality with that sound body sound mind can travel according to aristotle that is the definition of education according to pestology education is the natural harmonious and progressive development of man's innate power man is born but a man is not born with blank mind blank body something is there inside the individual what is that something that is hidden one that hidden potential innate power that is to be developed elicited with the help of education and that process it will be natural it will be harmonious and it will be in a progressive order day by day gradual order from slow to up from slow to uh, upper level as a result education will be implemented as we perceive according to pestology montessori education is a means helping in complete unfolding of child's personality child is born as i told you but child's personality in respect to physical mental social cultural economical all respect all aspects it is to be well developed unfolding it is to be well developed as a result that education will be satisfied according to montessori according to dibe education is the development of all capacities in the individual that can enable the person to control the immediate environment where we survive at the same time it can fulfill all possibility all expectation whatever we want next one is education process it is two types of education process one is individual process and another is social process individual process personal all round development thinking values attitude judgment consideration evaluation decision making which is concerned to the individual person that is to be well developed that is at the individual level but whereas social process is there it is to be developed for the whole group not only concerned to one individual that group development in collaboration in discussion in sharing exchanging ideas intent content message all other productive members to the society they will be benefited by the help of education that will be called as social process education is satisfied so in this two process we can satisfy our education individualizing process and social process types of education it is three types formal education non formal education and informal education formal education it is always intentional it is always prescribed it is being intentional and prescribed it is to be followed in a rigidity manner fixed manner like our school education like our college and university education whatever education system is there rules regulations are there courses are there everything 
it is pre-designed, prescribed and it is followed strictly. Its exam system, evaluation system, certification system, everything it is concerned in formal education. Whereas non-formal education, though it is intentional, but it is flexible. It is not rigidly followed like say open university system, school system, university system, like Indira Gandhi open university. There it said the syllabus is there, students are there, teachers are there, but attendance is not regularly maintained. Whereas in formal education, attendance is must in our system, in our university, like 75 percent attendance is must without that this child will not be able to appear the exam. Whereas non-formal education system, there is no such type of rigidity in attendance. There, there is no such type of rigidity in admission procedures, criteria, all those things. Though it is intentionally de designed, but flexibility is there. Now come to informal education. It is, we learn the things, we change our behavior with that education. But it is not intentionally designed, rather it is unintentional like home education. Like as we learn from our parents, as we learn from our TV, radio, newspaper, magazine. So unintentionally we go through that, we follow that process and we learn it and we change our behavior. Characteristics of education, education deals with worthwhile knowledge, adjusts its aims, deals, a, deals and ideals, principles for better living. As a result, education, it will be worth enough, worthy enough, valuable enough. It leads to our understanding, gives rise to our mental perspectives, our decision making, critical thinking higher order of thinking, analyzing, synthesizing, evaluating, problem solving, all those things. It comes with the help of education that leads to that way. At the same time, it is young enough and it is developing. Don't think that education, it has started from ancient period until now it is saturated. No, we should accept that education, at, it is young one. It is to be growing and it will go far and far. So it is developing one, not well developed and saturated. It is not like that. It is rational. It is justified. It is goal oriented. It is based on facts, evidence, not as per our own thinking, own belief. It is not. It is a logical order, systematic, justifiable order and open ended and all encompassing following the different aspects of like physical, social, mental, emotional, cultural, economical, all aspects it is to be concerned in education. It is the aims of education. Basic skills we learn from education. Basic skills, what is what are those? Like reading, writing, speaking, all abilities, all skills that is to be developed with the help of education. Communication skills. Communication skills is what? What do we mean by communication? That is the process through which two or more people can exchange their ideas, content, message. What they want to pass on, it is to come to a common point. Both can understand that content. That will be communication. In that case, we Again, we follow that language skills, that listening skills, reading skills, writing skills, and speaking skills, all those things that can help in communication skills, that is with the help of basic skills through education. Reflective thinking, it is our critical thinking. Whatever things teacher is saying, as I am telling you something, and you will perceive it, and you will edit it, sir, perceive it or accept it, it is not. On that certain matter, you will have to think critically. Why it is? What it is? What for it is? Everything, if you 
put your questions on your on that content definitely you will go for depth insight and you will learn more and more that is reflective thinking appreciation of culture whatever culture whatever values whatever morals whatever focus it is in our society that is to be appreciated as it is meant for our well being it is for it is meant for our development for our survival so definitely we should learn it and we should appreciate it and we should adopt it in our day to day life development of creativity with the help of education this is the ultimate aim of education to develop the creativity each and every one should be creative to create the new idea new method new content everything that is to be there as it is the it is one aim of education application of science whatever things it is there in a artistic manner though we are doing but at the back the science is there logic is there principles is there and uh, foundations that is concerned with each and everything cause and effect relationship everything we should learn it with the help of education vocational efficiency by getting the education one day we will be job oriented we will get the training our skills it will be sharpened and we will get the our our vocation our job our career as a result we will be economically sound enough effective citizenship there there itself we should know as we are the citizen of india citizen of any country there itself we should know our rights and only knowing rights it is not enough simultaneously parallelly we should know our responsibility what should be our duties for our country for, for its construction there itself rights and duties it is to be concerned in effective or good citizenship development of personality as i told you earlier also personality concerned to totality of the behavior of the individual that is inner quality and outer quality inner appearance outer appearance the totality of the personality means in respect to physical mental social all aspects it is to be well developed being having that balanced personality that is concerned and it is the aim of education it is one and preparation for further education yes what we are learning in our different programs then further education also after completing a primary again we will go for middle education after completion middle education again we are reaching to higher uh, this thing secondary education senior secondary higher education all those things slowly gradually level by level we will reach to that level of education that is also one aim of education preparation for future education now if you understand the education the whole as we discussed its aims its types its characteristics the whole thing that will be based about your performance through this discussion and write some assignment like what should be the aims of higher education in india based on purpose and needs on priority ground at this time and why so that way this question you should reflect you should discuss among yourself and prepare that assignment now we will come to the main foundations of education in education foundation means what it is a base it is a strong base strong strength giving to that education area to make it sustainable to make it exist for today and without compromising tomorrow so education is meant for today education is meant for tomorrow if 
its base is strong enough and base is in different respects that is philosophical foundation historical historical foundation sociological foundation psychological foundation methodological foundation organizational and administrative foundation what is philosophical foundation we should know detail one by one foundation discipline of education of course earlier as i told you philosophy history and sociology psychology it was ancient period these are only concerned in education but nowadays in this present time along with that the ancient one is not eliminated along with that other areas are concerned for our critical understanding learning critical engagement development for better human living for that only different areas it is concerned like those ancient area philosophy history sociology psychology it was ancient one the next one in our present education management and administration without this this present life is handicapped political science how to govern ourselves economics how to make our life day by day income reaching and at the same time how to expand it in a wise manner at the same time geography geography the different areas where we live its climate its weather its seasons everything that affect in our life it is also concerned in our education so education is at the center including these areas of studies if we know teacher education it is professional preparation of teaching profession being to be specialized expert where harmonious relation should be there theoretical aspect and practical aspects at the same time appropriate content should be appropriate pedagogy must be assessment of learner it is must be concerned it cannot be removed and with the help of foundation foundational perspective in education in an enlightened and confident manner that will be the teacher education but on the way of teaching process there will be some problems educational problems educational questions so being teacher we should not keep the questions keep the problems aside rather it is our main concern to solve the problems to answer those questions then only philosophy will come what is called philosophy philosophy it comprises two words philos and sophia philos means love and sophia means wisdom love of wisdom if someone is philosopher one is capable to give the answer to the questions in a particular area then definitely he will he or she will be the lover of wisdom one should go to the depth inside and find the answers and it is to be critically judged by others and at the right way it is answer should come to the society everybody will accept it but keep it in your mind all philosophy it is not complete for the whole time forever for certain period it is accepted as true but after certain period some other areas some other perspective some other people they will find the answer in different way different perspective in a logic logical base justifiable base and they can prove it it is true not the earlier one therefore all philosophy it is not complete one day by day it gets changed so whoever is philosopher everybody everybody is a philosopher do you know this to some extent someone is philosopher to the highest level medium medium level or lower level because in our day to day life, life we are concerned with our problem and to solve that problem we think up and get the solutions 
there itself we can say some everybody is more or less they are philosopher philosophical foundation philosophy that is the systematic inquiry about the highest realities of the universe that is a bigger picture we will have to intellectually attempt to understand and interpret the nature what is this universe what is this na nature of this universe its characteristics according to alfred weber search for the comprehensive view of nature attempt at universal explanation of things being curious being unsatisfied if you are satisfied with your answer finish everything is finished philosophy will not go further and further to get the further correct answer fact and fact one that is to your queries therefore everyone should have that quest for excellence for truth for fact being curious and being unsatisfied harvard spencer philosophy is concerned with everything as a universal science here itself universal science means it is concerned to the whole world whole universe there itself with us with this existing one what we are looking with what we are seeing and looking and uh, judging that way it is existing one that is concerned at the same time which is beyond our existence means about god again question comes what is god who is who is god where he is whether he is having that personal being or impersonal being so many question it comes to our mind about god about this nature about this universe at the same time some beauty some morality some logic some knowledge everything it is concerned in philosophy therefore according to Har harbar harbert spencer philosophy is concerned with everything as a universal science philosophy grows directly from life and its needs our life is full of problems so with that problems we are concerned to find the solutions therefore our personal life social life cultural life educational life political life and economical life it is our concern and in those areas problems more or less arise and to those problems will have it is our responsibility to find the best solutions which will be which will be critically judged and accepted by all that will be our philosophy it should be it sh should it be sometimes what happens in our organization we do our work as per the philosophy of our chancellor as per the philosophy of our ceo madam is it correct think we do it as per their ideology as per their philosophy but the workers the teachers the employees they want to do the work according to their own philosophy own ideology so which one is true in that way you think up and write a paragraph in next period why do we why do we need philosophy for what purpose philosophy is meant for us the purpose of our life is determined by the philosophy of life mostly influenced by personal philosophy and philosophy of education it helps us better understand who we are what for we are what is our purpose as we are here what things to be performed by us as a result we will be satisfied we will satisfy our personal life social life and national life that way we should think up and give the answer as a result the philosophical need 
we can understand in the right way and we do work accordingly. We need philosophy to take wise decision. Sometimes we are confused. If we know the right way, the philosophy, what it is, definitely we can judge it in the right way. Going to the depth with proper understanding, deep understanding, we can take wise decision, correct decision and do our action in a right way, reach, reach to the realities. It helps distinguish good and bad, right and wrong, truth and falsehood, beauty and ugliness. That difference we can understand if we, if we are clear about the philosophy. It helps to get insight into others' worldview, understand it and helps him or her to improve it if necessary. If someone is, uh, someone is giving that worldview, opinion, under, for certain facts, but how we can put comment on that fact, whether it is correct one or wrong one, it, is, it needs to be corrected. If we know the philosophy, correct philosophy, accordingly, the right way we can judge it and the right way we can suggest it and that way we can use our insight, that philosophical way to others' world views, others' comment, others' results. That way the person will be helped and you will be helped, the whole society will be helped. It helps to eliminate non-consistency by providing new information. It can sometimes there is a gap. Things are not complete. To make it complete, to fill that gap, we will use our philosophy and we will make it complete. So that way it is, it is all about that foundation of philosophy, philosophical way and next period we will further move to other philosophy.